What's up guys, what is up, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, where today we are going to be going to, we are, I just said going twice, we are going to be showing off what could very well be one of the most game-changing mounts in the game to this point. That isn't it, that's just a turtle on the beach. Nothing over there, that's just a tree. But over here, the Castoroids? Castoroidus? I probably butchered that. Hey, it's pretty much tr tradition to butcher names at this point. But... You guys might know this as the giant beaver. So what exactly is the giant beaver? Well, it's a beaver that is very large and it comes with a whole just bunch of amazing uses that I'm just going to be going over. Uh, in terms of taming it, it's the normal tame. You just got to knock it out uh, here. I'll actually have a little map of locations where it can be found. I actually got this off of the ARC wiki. Wikia. I'll try and leave a link to that in the description down below if you want even more information about this. But I uh, did want to say that's where I got the map from, be all transparent and whatnot. And uh, that is some of the locations, as of now, to my knowledge, where it can be found. And once it is found, you go ahead, tame like any other guy, just knock it out with some Topor. Uh, it is one of the mounts that does have a very quick Topor drop, kind of like the Gallimimus and other ones like that. And here you can see, uh, for a level 10, he had 660 Topor, so not insanely high Topor-wise. So you're, it's not going to be too bad to knock out in the first place, and I mean, in terms of speed, I mean, they're relatively fast, but they're not exactly, they're no Gallimimus, they're not gonna outrun you when they're running away from you trying to trank them. Uh, the problem is going to be keeping up with the narcotics, and it's gonna take a good chunk of narcotics to keep them under, and just make sure that you're babysitting it a lot. So kind of for comparison's sake, I think that a level 20 of these should take around three hours to tame using just Meho Berries, and you're gonna have to be applying narcotics pretty consistently because I think they lose around 90 to pour a minute so you're gonna want to make sure to be applying narcotics a lot which is what kind of makes it in that class of animals kind of like the Gallimimus where it's really annoying to tame and you really have to babysit it but uh, this one has some very unique things about it that make it mm, quite quite worth it if you think about it anyways let's go ahead and talk about the saddle so the saddle can be crafted in a workbench but wait I don't have a workbench. Well, might as well introduce the first parts of this guy's awesome abilities, and that's that his saddle, once equipped to the beaver over here, literally serves as a workbench. Oh my god, I know this is amazing. Just wait, there's more. So, if we go ahead and hop into this literally fully functioning workbench here, you can do anything you want. Just craft anything workbench related. And if we go to the Castroidus saddle, it's going to cost you 295 or, two, or 290 hide, 200 fiber, 100 metal ingots, 180 thatch, and 140 smenting paste. It's like a decent chunk of smenting paste and decent chunk of metal, but other than that, nothing too outrageous about it. It can be crafted starting at level 55, and this is sort of amazing. Sure, it might be really hard. Uh, I believe the kibble he takes, uh, which if you, you know, on a level 20 beaver, uh, it should only take like 33-ish minutes, like half an hour, something like that. To tame up the giant beaver using Gallimimus kibble, because that's the kibble that he uses, so just a little bit of a heads up there. And that'll definitely make things quite a bit quicker. Uh, but, that is his first special ability, that's what you need to craft his saddle, and that is amazing. You can literally use him as a workbench, and the thing that makes him kind of awesome as a workbench is he's an awesome wood gatherer. If we go over here and start gathering some wood, uh, we got 136 wood out of one tree. I do believe that I do have like higher gather rates on this particular uh, build. Oh my god, do I just real? I just realized I do not have any tools. Well, crap. All right, well, I was gonna say I'm, I do have higher gather rates on this server. I will put in text exactly what the gather rates are. Uh, but this beaver is getting a lot of wood from one tree, and he's getting it very quickly. He harvests more than half the tree in one hit. And he gets all of it, and the thing you probably noticed is, wait, Star, how does he have this much wood and still able to move so quickly? Are you cheating? No. That's the other special ability of the beaver. This is awesome. Do you see all of this weight and wood he has, right? Oh, it, this wood's only 10 pounds. Strange. No, now it's 50. 10? 50. 10? 50. 10? Yeah, so, another one of the special abilities, all wood is only one-fifth of its total weight. So, lit this guy is going to help you harvest so much. And the thing is, I'm not sure about this. I do want to see this. If we set him on Wander, 
Yep, if you set him on Wander, he'll go ahead and harvest it all on his own. So, I will do exactly that here, because I kind of want to see that. Let's throw him on Wander. And he will go ahead and harvest it on his own. Hopefully, are you, can you go over to that tree? There's like a tree right there. Dillo, don't attack me. Okay, well, you know what? I guess this annoying little Dillo is a perfect opportunity to show off his attacking skills and see how quickly he can kill a Dillo. Uh, by the looks of it, not too quickly. It was a level 27 Dillo, so nothing too insane. But there you go. I can go ahead and put him on Wander, and he doesn't seem too interested in... Is he still following me? I don't know why is he... He was literally still following me. That was really weird. Uh, was that a gorilla? Okay, no, that was a trike. That is his special ability, is that he gathers wood really efficiently. He's able to gather wood on his own accord, kind of like the Dwight Acarius. I can't quite get him to wander into the wood. I, he just doesn't seem too interested in gathering wood right now, I guess. But, yeah, he doesn't. I guess he has too much wood on him. Is that maybe what it is? I'll, I'll just go ahead, drop all items from his inventory. Yeah, sure. I mean, that was just for demonstration purposes anyway. Uh, did he have too much wood on him or something? Can I throw him off? There you go, as you can see, he did just swing. He grabbed something. Did you get any wood from it? No? Huh. Well, I don't know if mine's just not cooperating. I feel like because he is like the Dota Karis, he should be able to do gather some wood, but he doesn't seem super interested in that. Yeah, there you go. He does hit it. Okay, there you go. He's hitting it. I, I guess he, I, just, I was just unlucky. He had too much wood on him, something like that. But when he wanders, he will be able to do that. So if you have a nice enclosed area with trees that regrow, You'll be pretty good in getting an awesome wood farm going to complement any possible stone farm and thing or stone farm from your Dwetakaris and or metal farm from your ankle swords. The thing about this guy though is that he's gonna bring you back way more wood than all of the other resources that your other dinos can bring back because of that. The awesome thing as well, if I can demonstrate this, he doesn't gather stone on his own, but he is kind of awesome at transporting it. Because if I can go ahead and grab uh, oh, and also, I think the gather rates are three times, so he was getting quite a bit of wood from those trees. There we go, I think that should be plenty. And if we go ahead, throw an hit. if we throw the wood, or the rocks, it's only 12 instead of the 24 that it was on us. So he is also capable of having the weight of stones. Now, this guy is one of the most versatile mounts out there, and... Arguably one of the most insanely useful out there as well. Uh, nothing too insane as a fighter. You could probably, his health goes up and really badly actually. His health scales horribly. He's not going to be a fighter unless you really want him to be. This guy's not meant to be a fighter. And he's literally like, I, I think he was literally made that way where his fighting attributes, I'm guessing melee damage won't go up too high either. They just aren't meant to scale well. So I'm... Probably what you're going to want to go up in with this guy's movement speed and weight so he can carry more because he's a moving workbench that gathers wood at a high rate and can bring back a whole bunch of wood and also is awesome at carrying wood and stone. So really, he's like the best transport mount out there for transporting your stuff at like a solid pace. I think like Brontos and whatnot are kind of slow. But then again, this guy is too, so I don't know, but he's... He's able to, for his size, definitely the best transport mount out there. You can get a little convoy of these guys, move rather undetected, and uh, do awesome. Not only that, he's adorable. He's a beaver. Look, I just want to give him a hug. Look at his fur. My graphics aren't even the best out there, but look at him. I just want to give him a hug. And I'm naked, so that makes it 20 times weirder. Or half naked. I guess I got, like, boxer briefs on or something. Yeah, I got something going. But other than that, I think that's about going to do it for the beaver. I don't think there's much else. I mean, if I right click here, nothing happens. He only has his normal old normal old attack and no roar. And that, that's about it. So I, I say that's about it as if it's underwhelming. No, this is amazing. When I originally heard about the beaver, I thought, oh, cool. We're just going to be a wood gather. He's way more with the saddle. He's the first like mobile workbench per se. I mean, unless you throw it on a saddle platform. And there were mo mobile stuff before, but a small scale mobile workbench can carry a lot of wood and a very good amount of stone. Nowhere near the wood, but very good amount of stone. And you can make a wood farm with this guy, and you, <laughs> you're just going to be set. One of these, and a Dewey to carry and you'll have resources for days. Your base will just keep building up and up, but rightfully so, these guys are pretty hard to tame because of the whole narcotics thing that a lot of new dinosaurs have been lately, which is kind of disappointing that they're so hard to tame. But 
whatever. It's not even that they're hard, they're just annoying. And potentially if you get like attacked as a disruption while you're taming him, he could die because you neglect him for too long. But uh, other than that, that's gonna go ahead and do it for the beaver. This guy is absolutely awesome and I am so happy that they finally added him. I can't wait to see what else is going to be added soon. Uh, there was also handcuffs added in this update. Uh, there might have been some other stuff. I'll potentially make another video on that. But uh, huge update coming out soon with the Arc of Bosses. Arc of Boss Wars. I think they're going to add three bosses and three boss arenas. That is going to be amazing. So lots of exciting stuff going on in Arc. I can't wait to cover it. Can't wait to do videos on it. And uh, hopefully progress and end up doing it in our series as well. But other than that, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video as always. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.